high-speed chases on TV. You've seen them and you know how intense they can be. In real life, those who wear a badge conduct them with precision. Today, Moorhead police officers held their annual emergency vehicle operator course. Valley News Team's Giovanna Simic got a chance to ride along. Officers who work the streets of Moorhead spend a great deal of time in their squad cars. When faced with extreme challenges, they have to be ready to take extreme measures, some reaching 100 miles per hour. We live in these squad cars, so um, driving is an everyday thing, and we need to be able to do it safely. This course may seem normal, but it's anything but. Officers stepping on the gas pedal, trying to negotiate sharp turns, and educating them on how to stay with the occasional runaway bad guy. With the techniques we learn out here, um, they can push the vehicle and themselves to a, a point of almost out of control, but control, and then they know their limitations and, and how to perform those techniques when, when working. Officer Brandon Desatel has driven the course before. He says he still gets a rush when he puts the pedal to the metal. Fast paced, exciting. Every day is a different day. Officers are sent here to gain confidence behind the wheel, preparing them for a real part of being a cop. There's a lot more cars, there's a lot of people out and about you have to watch for. Um, when we have our license sirens on, people don't always move over, and when they do, they don't always move over like they're supposed to. When they're on patrol, that they can confidently negotiate turns at high speeds if need be and, and drive safely. That was interesting. It's not very often we got to drive fast and go through cones like that, take the brakes as hard as you can. In Moorhead, Giovanna Simic, Valley News Live. Moorhead police need to be recertified in this driving course every three years. There are similar requirements for sheriff's deputies and highway patrol officers.